the, our audience today will have to go back, just fill them in for the last 10 years, and also, um, what was the very first martial arts that you started, Dave? Be honest. The very first martial arts I started was, uh, was judo, I was nine. By the time I was 11, I got a gold medal. Uh, and again, I was, it's, it's, it's one of these stories, yeah? I, so I became, I always wanted to, whatever age I, I seemed to be, I wanted to be the best at whatever I, I got. So I worked my way to ranks, to, to brown belt, smashing up the club, you know, we were doing it in the clubs, getting gold medal. And then this taught me a massive lesson later on in life. And, this, and it was during the summer holidays, they went, oh, the club's closed down for six weeks. Oh, bugger. I'm like, oh, shit, I can't bash anybody up for six weeks. What the fuck am I going to do? They went, oh, but Peckham boys, and I don't know, I was brought up in Peckham. Peckham boys are the roughest boys yeah. going around. Yeah, yeah. And there was an ex uh, Marine Army geezer there teaching class. Anyway, yeah, don't go down to Peckham boys. I went, yeah, right on, Will. Bah, she took my little <laughs> Dad, he went, oh, Brad Belt. I have been here, Brad Belt. 12 years old, Brad Belt. That's what I've got, Brad Belt. Nearly Black Belt? Nearly. 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 He went, right, gonna do a bit of sparring today. Oh, good. I went, right. Who's My that? little mate over there, he had a little yellow belt. <laughs> Bring him on. Well, this yellow belt picked me up and fucked me to the floor oh, so hard. Judo you off. I didn't know what fucking day it was. Shit. What and happened? Got my little bag. <laughs> oh, no. oh, no. I won't go judo anymore! Oh. Threw the judo bag away. And it wasn't until I was 16, 18 when I joined this martial I remember I said you used to get beat up yeah. week in, week out. You, you would get battered. And it was two years later that they went, oh, we're going to another club. We're having a little underground little tear up. We knocked the fuck out of it. Yeah. And I was the worst, I'm not saying the worst, but I was like, down on this club. And, and our instructor said, son, it's better to be the worst at the best club than the best at the worst club. And I read that, I went, that's why I was so good back then, because the club was shit. You know what I mean? So, it, it, that learned me a big life lesson, that learned me a big very life big lesson. Message out there. Very so, big so message don't, just, out there. Don't, don't just run around thinking you're the best, fight the best. Train with the best, Amazing. and it doesn't matter how Excellent. low level. That's what we all say about jujitsu: how many times you get tapped out. If you've never been tapped out, you ain't been to the right club. No, you haven't. You've been knocked out. You ain't been to the right club. No, you haven't. You know, if you ain't come over with bruises, you ain't been. If you're if you're knocking everybody out, you shouldn't be training there. You should be moving on or finding someone who can push you to the abilities. It's like going to a weight gym. Just I can lift all the. Obviously, the, the weights ain't heavy enough for you there. Go to a gym that's got bigger weights. That's right. If you can lift them easy, they ain't no good. You've got to move on. So it's always pushing yourself to the limit. So you started at judo. What's your favourite then? Where did you end up loving the martial arts that you trained at? What did you actually go crazy uh, at? Do you know what? It, 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 it's, a, it's a hard one. Honest, my love of martial arts from such a young age, you know, I was a Bruce Lee fanatic. Oh, I yeah. loved him, you know. You know I, I love... And his mentality, <laughs> yeah, his mentality, if you look at... Mixed martial arts, so that's why you know, when, you say, when you say to the young people, like, oh, they had to go back 10 years. If, if you look at any history and you go, well, hang on, this geezer was thinking so far ahead of himself, he was thinking about mixed martial arts way back then, and everybody, same thing, pushed him away. No, no, you've got to stick to reality, you've got to stick to Amazing. tradition, you've got to stick to this. You've got to, come out, you've got to come out of your safety box, come out of your safety zone, and I used to. I don't know if you heard of Animal Day and things like that. Uh -huh. And it was it was the same thing we used to, I used to get my students to do. We'd we'd pad up and it go, and then we'd invite another crowd. Juggernaut and, fights. And, and they go oh, oh, how straight do, in. How do how do we attack you? And you go like that. Any way you want. Yeah. Because this ain't this ain't this ain't wing chuck, this ain't wing chuck. I want to go, right, hands up, this, right, yeah. grab here, Judah. It's not that. It was, you want to attack me? Attack me any way you fucking want. No, no, it's not like that. It's not like that. And, that's, <laughs> and it's funny, I go back into my teaching mode. I'm 58 years of age. No, I still go back into my teaching mode. I'm right. an amazing teacher. You, know, you should fight it again. Why no, don't you do I, it? I, 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 hey, listen. Right, why don't we work on a... Here, here listen, and I'll tell you the truth, right? Anything I would get you, my students to do, I'd be doing. You yeah. know, if I was doing five, if they were doing five rounds, I'd be doing. If they would, oh, I'd go 100 press-ups, you know, I'd be finishing first. 100 sit-ups. My missus got me, you're an animal, you're a... But I've changed, you know, I've, I'm 58, I've grown away Oh, you're amazing, that. mate, you're looking... But, but you're the teaching, so as soon as I start getting into the... Grabbing it and... and, 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 and I'm 
I'm, I'm there, I'm straight away. So oh, her, this so guy's on! So he puts her in, tight, bang. It all, everything comes yeah, back general, man. in a it flash. Like a shield, this guy, bro. Wow, in, wow. In, in a flash, everything comes back to me and I, could, I still can give. Don't you think there's some people out there that need to remember that your teachings comes from a certain background. It's not what you learn, it's where you learn it and how you learn it, David. And this is very important, what I want to say out there to the message, everyone. Even my martial arts, Bruce Lee's following, Jeet Kwon Do philosophy, it wasn't who taught me it, it's how I experienced different teachers on same, same exactly. kicks, the same kick, different guy, same punch, different guy. Our teachings come from an elite background. Yeah. We are last yeah. of an elite martial arts squad <laughs> of the UKC. And I've seen you in magazines with your hair, doing all these kung fu poses, and I really didn't want to cut them out because those magazines were so flimsy, man. Yeah. They wouldn't last five days up on the wall. So I left the magazine. It's I funny, it. I was front I'm going to pull it out. Yeah. Front page I'm going to pull it out for the Martial yeah. Arts magazine back in 1999 with Dave O'Connell in a team what was it called? Elite, elite Fighting. The Elite Fighting Squad? Yeah, elite right, squad. the Elite Fighting Squad. Big up. Elite Fighting Squad, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Legendary. Just like in Kill Bill, what we've got, the five deadly assassins. Remember where the films were made did, out That was great. Uh, I, I, yeah, the great, is, great is, you know what's great? That, that even some of the guys that first started me and first I trained, they're now doing so well. They've all got their own gyms. They're teaching Tommy Gunn. Dean Bright, I see all these guys that are pushed on, they've got brilliant. their own, and they're teaching guy, and he's like a father son, you know, you hand down, or you teach him the way, it's not, you can't teach him everything, you can teach what you know, that, and same with me, if I teach all what I know, then I went, right, okay, I'm done with that, I'm going to move on now to my, and you, you just break off, but you know, you've got that foundation of what you taught and how we taught you, I thought, right, that's in my nut, but now I'm moving, and it's so nice to see all these guys, and just moved on, and uh, Got the right gyms that are still going. Thank you very much, Dave. We'll let that roll.